What are the different power theorems in the circuit? Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss the different theorems involving intersecting chords, seconds, and tangents, collectively known as power theorems. First and foremost, we have the first theorem. We call this one as the intersecting segments of chords power theorem. The theorem states that if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. So I have here an example of our first theorem. So sa first theorem natin involve ang dalawang intersecting chords. So saan ba dito yung chords natin? We have the chords segment AB. Yung first chord natin. At yung pangalawang chord naman natin is segment CD. Sinasaad sa theorem na yung product ng bawat segment ng chords ay equal. Okay. So if we have chord AB, Yung dalawang segment ng chord AB ay sina segment AP and segment PB. Again, yung given natin is circle M at yung chords ay nag-intersect sa point P. So yung point P, yun yung humahati sa chords natin into segments. So yung first chord natin na AB, meron siyang dalawang segments. Una is si AP. At yung pangalawa naman is si PB. So, yung point ng theorem is that kung ano yung product ng AP at saka PB, yun din yung product ng dalawang segments ng pangalawang chords natin. Okay, ano ba yung pangalawang chord natin? We have chord CD. Okay, ano naman yung mga segments ng chord CD? So, we have CP, segment CP, times PD. Okay, or segment P. D. If we're going to give values sa bawat segment, let's try to solve for the value of x. Okay. So, alimbawa daw, si AP is 4 units, si PB is 6 units, si CP naman ay 8 units. Ano kaya yung equivalent ni PD? Or gano kaya kahaba si segment PD? So, based sa theorem, all we need to do is to multiply the segments of each chord and equate their products. So, ang AP natin again is 4, is substitute lang natin, times, ang PB naman natin is 6, equals, CP is 8, and yung missing natin na segment is si PD. So, we have here X. So, we have 4 times 6, that is 24, and 8 times X, that is 8X. So, divide natin both sides ng 8, cancel. So, pwede natin balik na rin. X now becomes... 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3 or 3 units. So X or yung segment PD is equal to 3 units. Next theorem, we call this one as the segments of second power theorem. So it states that if two seconds intersect in the exterior of the circle, the product of the length of one second segment and the length of its external part is equal to the product of the length of the other second segment and the length of its external part. Now, let's discuss the second theorem. So, the second theorem, yung involved natin ay dalawang seconds na nag-intersect sa exterior ng circuit. So, saan ba dito yung dalawang seconds natin? Yung pinakaunang seconds natin or second natin would be segment P B. Okay? P, B. Yung pangalawang second naman natin is si segment P, D. Segment P, D. Yung point of intersection ng dalawang seconds natin ay point P. So, yung point P ay nasa exterior ng circle M. Now, given yung seconds natin na P, B at saka P, D, kukunin natin yung second segment at yung respective external segment nila. So, kung P, B yung pagbabasihan, therefore, Yung buong PB, that would be the second segment. Tapos, yung external segment naman ng second PB, 
would be yung part niya na nasa labas ng circuit. So we have PA or segment PA. Then yung second segment naman na PD, ito siya PD. Yung external segment naman niya is yung part niya na nasa labas ng circle. We have segment PC. Okay? So segment PC. So sinasa sa theorem na yung product ng second segment at yung external segment niya ay equal lang sa product ng second segment at external segment ng pangalawang second. So in symbols, we have segment PD. Ito yung buong second times yung external second niya yung nasa labas so we have PA that would be equal to the second second yung relationship ng segments niya so we have yung buong second segment PD and yung external segment niya which is equal to segment PC so pag ito yung given all we need to do is to simply substitute yung mga values para makuha natin yung length na missing segment. So, ang PB natin, 24 plus 10. So, we have 34 units times PA. Yung PA naman natin is 24 equals PD. Yung buong PD natin, we have 12 plus X. So, susulat natin dito 12 plus X. Yung PC naman natin, we have 12 units. Then, i-multiply lang natin sila. So, 34 times 24, that is equal to 816. Then, dito tayo sa right side ng equation. 12 times 12 is 144. X times 12 is 12X. Transpose natin si 144 sa kabilang side. So, you have 816 minus 144 is equal to 12 x 816 minus 144 is equal to 672 then we're going to divide both sides by 12 so x would be equal to 672 divided by 12 that is equal to 56 or 56 units therefore yung length na CD or segment CD natin is equal to 56 units. And for our last theorem, we call this one as the tangent second segment's power theorem. If a tangent segment and a second intersect in the exterior of the circle, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the second segment and its external part. Sa last power theorem natin ang involved ay isang tangent at isang second. And yung point of intersection nila ay nasa exterior ng circle. So let us say we are given circle P. So yung tangent natin dito would be the ray would be the ray M C. Okay, pwede rin natin gawin siyang segment M C. Yung second naman natin, or yung second line naman natin, we have ray M B. So yung point of intersection nila is point M, na nasa exterior na circuit. So based sa ating theorem, sa power theorem natin, sinasaad dun na ang square ng length ng tangent, so let us say we have M C, or segment M C, yung square niya would be yung square ng length niya would be equal to the second segment so yung second segment natin dito is yung buong second so we have M B so we have segment M B times yung external second segment so if this is the whole second yung M B yung external second segment naman niya would be segment M A A M A okay? So this is based sa theorem natin Now let's try solving yung missing na length <clears throat> So for us to get the missing length All we need to do is to substitute yung mga given So yung length ng MC is missing okay? Ito yung hahanapin natin So we have X squared okay? Yung length naman ng segment MB Itong buo, we have 4 
plus 5 that is equal to 9 so we have 9 units multiplied to MA yung external segment niya would be 4 MA is 4 or 4 units then simplify lang natin so 9 times 4 is equal to 36 then we're going to get the square root of both sides of the equation therefore x is equal to 6 units so positive lang yung ito consider natin since we're talking about the length of a segment so this is our final answer now it's your turn try to answer the following questions And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.